नमस्कार फ्रॉम लास्ट फ्यू डेज देर इज़ अ पॉलिटिकल अनस्टेबल इन दार्जिलिंग वेस्ट बंगाल द सटन ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल आर डिमांडिंग फॉर अ सेपरेट गोरखा लैंड सो लेट्स नो अबाउट वॉट आर द डिमांड्स एक्चुअली इन द इंसेप्शन ऑफ द डिमांड ऑफ गोरखा लैंड द बेसिक पॉइंट अबाउट गोरखा लैंड इज आइडेंटिटी एंड नॉट डेवलपमेंट इट शुड बी वेरी क्लियर एट द आउटेज दैट ब्रिंगिंग इन द टॉक ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट इन द वे ऑफ आइडेंटिटी इज टू डेविएट फ्रॉम द कोर इशू एंड टू ओवर सिंप्लीफाई एंड जनरलाइज द इशूज दैट द गोरखाज trying to place before the nation mixing up development and identity is a conspiracy of the ruling class to fool the people resulting in more intensification of existing crisis nevertheless development or lack of its own reason for people's rebellion and most people who do not support the cause of gorkha land are now talking about non development in darjeeling is it that all other places are highly developed except for darjeeling there might be a question arising in your mind what development has there been in kolkata except for adding the lesser use vidya sagar setu to the colonial legacy there has been development has there been to other parts of bengal after britishers left and there is no demand for a separate state in birbhum porolia bakura and salboni if it was due to non development development is not a panacea for identity movements that have been proved beyond doubt in tibet where large scale development by the chinese could not undermine the people's aspiration for self respect and self esteem the indian independence movement was at least not due to the lack of development this is a futile to prove that lack of development in the gorkha land area is the cause of movement proving to the work of the conventional intellectuals the cunning politicians let let us discuss about some core issues that the movement has put forward around 1780s the gorkhas invaded the sikkim and captured most part of it which includes darjeeling with siliguri they administered it for 35 years when they finally after the british nepal war the nepal ceded its territory to the british in the treaty of seagol in 1886 the ceded territory includes darjeeling siliguri the entire terai simla nainital garhwal hills kumaon up to the satli again darjeeling was handed over by the british to sikkim but was later taken by the former for political reasons in 1853 the cpim intellectuals and the gorkha land intelligence and the anti gorkha land intelligence here talk only about 1853 but not 1780 lepchas were nomadic tribes and were engaged in zoom cultivation or sifting cultivation in other words they used to hang around the hills for one region to another sometimes they were in nepal and sometimes in sikkim that the lepchas are the original inhabitants of this place is based on account of captain lloyd who wrote in his account that there were some 100 lepcha huts in darjeeling at the time it is only that when he visited darjeeling those lepchas just happened to be there had the venture around you he would have surely made some other tribes of the region